hello! Gloves and eye protection ready. I am here with another project from another one of my favorite places. And you probably don't need to know. The web address is, of course, Goodwill. They have tons of frames and pictures and everything at any given time, and you can help other people out while doing your special project. So I got this frame um, from Goodwill. It used to be uh, ugly gold, I think. And unfortunately, on the way home, I broke the glass inside. Oh no, well darn, I was gonna do a project, but then I realized that I didn't have to let that stop me. So what I'm going to do is a bit more of a specialty project. And I will cover how I um, refinish old frames in a different video. But this one I'm going to put in place here. And then I um, happen to know a wonderful glass artist, Marlon Keller, down at the Wacomart Market. Do this little shout out to her. And that is in Old Fairhaven. I mean, Historic Fairhaven, that's uh, a district in Bellingham, so I'll put those out there. There aren't sponsors, but there are other great places to check out. Historic Bellingham is a fun and beautiful place to hang out. I have my hot glue gun on, and of course, as you know, my gloves, because I have my hot glue gun on. So what I'm going to do is take pieces of glass that she gave me, because she does these wonderful glass sculptures and she has leftovers. So what I can do is select some and clean them off. And because I do recycled items, I don't mind if they look a little, I don't know, used and dingy. If you can tell what they were previously, oh well, that's fine. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is just randomly take some pieces and start hot glue gunning them in place to make like a collage out of the old glass to create something fun and new. So first I'm going to, maybe I'll put, even put that all the way in the corner to kind of secure that old piece of glass. As I said, I'm not a stickler for it has to be something that looks brand new when I'm done because, well, it's not. And I kind of like that funky, eclective, eclectic vibe you get from something that's just not so pristine. Maybe that wants to live over there. So I'm going to go around. Oh yes, and my, again, if anyone can write in it with a better idea, I do sometimes use the long glue sticks, but then those I don't know, I find sometimes seem to get in the way anyway. So then I'm going to put that there. And you can see I'm starting to create some place where I can clip down this, because it used to be two thicknesses. Used to have the uh, board for the, um, the backing for this, where you put the photo or picture or whatever, and then the cardboard, we need to make sure that we give it some thickness so that these little tab thingies can still work. So I'm going around the outside right now, just gluing that. And yes, you will see the hot glue gun marks. I'm not too worried about that. So I'm going to go keep going around and making this unique kind of now, what you could do is if you still wanted to put some sort of photo or something in the, in the center, you could leave this area open and do that. I'm still trying to, I think I want to just have this unique um, see-through where you're actually going to see the wall through it. Um, yeah, picture frame where it makes the wall part of the art. So I'm wiping these off a little bit and then kind of putting them in various places. 
or I think they look cool. And I will let you check back with me when I've got more of this in place. And again, I'm careful, you don't want to press too hard because you don't want to press through the glass. Let's see, I think this will be a fun piece to go right in the center there. So giving new life to old things, and again, I can come back and if I, come on, here's a nice blue piece, maybe just kind of do that, and as I've mentioned in other videos, I like my crafts to be fun and kind of just relaxed, so I don't strive for a whole lot of perfection and doing things or forethought or planning. Just kind of let them develop as they seem to want to. Hmm. I think I may be two or three pieces left from being complete here. And again, with this, it's really, really important to wear gloves because these edges are sharp. Hmm. Let's see. And I always wear glasses, protective glasses, because if any of these pieces broke, little splinters could come up into my eye, and that's pretty much the last thing anyone would want. Let's see, put that down there. So if you're ever in the Bellingham area, definitely get off at Historic Fairhaven and check out the Whatcom Art Market. They've got um, just an ever-changing number of wonderfully talent art, talented artists. A lot of them now are also doing uh, recycled projects and they have are so creative and they also help me out and collect items from their recycle bin for me because I know that I enjoy working with these things and thanks to them I get resources that I don't have and thanks to me we keep more and more things out of the recycle bin. So okay Maybe one more fancy piece of glass. See, I haven't used green. So maybe I'll do green down there. Alright. So now I'm going to turn off the video while I, I realize there's some of these uh, little uh, push down things missing. So I'm going to locate some of those and I will be back. All right, thank you. So I read the hot glue gun package again, and it did say that it works with glass, but maybe there's something I don't know about stained glass. So anyway, so I'm going to do that. I'm looking to see, make sure, yep, this fits. So now, just for safety's sake, I'm going to go ahead and just Put a hot, whole lot of hot glue in. I look a little crazy. That's okay. So I'm gonna put this part down first since I have hot glue there. Right underneath the clips. There. Put that in place hopefully. Again, do not want to press too hard because you are pressing on glass. I'm just going to try one of my longer glue sticks and see if we can manage to get that. Still can't figure out what to do about that. Okay, and again, there you have it folks. Here is my work. You may not think it's Picasso, may not be for everybody, but neither was Picasso. So here we've taken a frame that was from Goodwill and a broken piece of glass, so I keep having my gloves on here, and turned it into something that, I don't know, somebody might want to hang on their wall. Maybe. All right. Well, thank you very much. Show me your projects and tell me your adventures in recycling because these items are 
singles. I'm basically, you know, whatever happens when I start the project, I only have one of them, and we have to roll with it and see what we end up with. So thank you for your time and your patience, and see you the next time. Thank you. Bye.